you know, we trust these cloud services to just work, right? But what happens when a piece of your digital life, one that's supposed to be rock solid, just vanishes? Today, we're going to break down the recent tail scale outage and what it tells us about the uh, kind of fragile trust we put in the tools we really depend on. So just imagine this for a second. Your secure connection to literally everything is gone. But when you go check the official status page, it's all green. Everything's fine, it says. This one sentence from a user, it just captures the whole problem, doesn't it? It's not just that a service is down. It's being told that the problem you're seeing, well, isn't really happening. And that's what made this whole thing so jarring for so many people. I mean, Tailscale built its entire reputation on being the solution that just works. It was simple, it was elegant, and honestly, to a lot of us, it felt totally bulletproof. So yeah, when it failed, everyone noticed. What's really interesting is just how messy the failure was. It wasn't the same for everybody. For some people, the admin console just timed out. For others, Tailscale's awesome DNS service, Magic DNS, it just stopped working. And for a bunch of users, it was a complete and total connectivity breakdown. It was almost like a regional lottery. If you were in the US or Asia, you were probably down. But if you were in Europe, you might have been totally fine. And that inconsistency, that just made everything way more confusing. And here it is, the huge disconnect. You've got tons of users on forums, on social media, all screaming, hey, it's broken. While the one official source of truth is telling them, nope, all green over here. This right here is the exact moment a technical glitch turns into a full-blown crisis of trust. So what was the real problem? What was the root cause? Well, to get what actually broke, we kind of have to understand how tail scales put together in the first place. Okay, so this slide really breaks it down. You can think of tail scale as having two main parts. First, you've got the data plane. That's the secure mesh network between all your devices. And for a lot of people, that part actually kept chugging along. The part that failed was the control plane. The best way to think about it is like air traffic control for your network. It handles all the logins, the configuration changes, the DNS, the important stuff. So when that control tower goes dark, planes that are already in the air might be okay, but no new flights can take off and the whole system is pretty much grounded. So seeing that central component fail led a lot of users to ask a pretty logical question. If the one part of the service we don't actually control is the part that breaks, what's the alternative? And wouldn't you know it, the community already had an answer sitting right there, head scale. Now, the outage didn't create head scale, but it sure did put a massive spotlight on it. So what exactly is head scale? Well, to put it simply, it's an open source project that lets you become your own air traffic controller. You run that control plane yourself on your own server. You get all the power of Tailscale's awesome networking, but you're the one in command of that critical central piece. This comment from a user just nails the feeling, right? For a certain kind of person, the peace of mind you get from owning your own infrastructure, it's just priceless. Every little hiccup from a cloud service just proves they made the right call by taking matters into their own hands. Oh man, I love this quote. I really do, because it gets right to the heart of the whole self-hosting philosophy. It's not about being perfect and having 100% uptime. It's about trading some mysterious, frustrating failure from a company you can't control for a problem that you can see, you can diagnose, and you can fix. It's about taking back control and responsibility. But if we zoom out a bit, this whole incident was about way more than just a technical glitch. It really points to a much bigger issue in our world that's just so dependent on the cloud. Just look at this timeline. So at time zero, users knew something was wrong. They're already on the forums. Within just five minutes, an automated third-party service, Status Gator, had figured out there was a problem. And yet, it took a full half hour for the company's own status page to say something. In internet time, 30 minutes is an eternity. And that's where trust really begins to break down. And that right there, that's the core lesson. In the world of software as a service, we kind of accept that things will break sometimes. It happens. But what we don't accept is just silence. Quick, honest communication when things go wrong isn't just a nice thing to have. It's part of the product. It's just as critical as the service itself. So what happened next? What was the actual outcome? Well, this incident kicked off a real shift in how the community started thinking about these tools. And this wasn't just talk, you know. People started taking action. The community almost immediately started planning for the next failure. They were setting up fallback VPNs, creating backup DNS servers, and even checking out competitors like Netbird or Zero Tier to run side by side. For businesses, this was a massive wake-up call about putting all your eggs in one basket. What's become super clear is that the whole mindset has changed. 
The reason people loved a tool like TailScale was its simplicity. You could just set it and forget it. But the new mindset born from this outage is all about resilience. The goal isn't just to have something that's easy to use, but to have a setup that can actually survive when things go wrong. You know, the best tools are the ones you forget are even there. They just work, quietly, in the background. This outage did the complete opposite. It made an invisible tool painfully visible. And by doing that, it forced thousands of people to pop the hood, to really understand how it works, and to start asking some tough questions about their own digital setups. And that really brings us to the big question this whole thing leaves us with. In a world that's built on the cloud, how much control are we actually willing to give up for convenience? This outage proved that for a whole lot of people, that answer has changed. It's not just about what works anymore. It's about what happens when it breaks.